Hey guys, good morning. 4.43 in the morning. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's 4.43 in the morning. We are going to make our first uh, delivery here of the day. Well, I guess our only... Well, I don't want to say our only delivery because we, uh, we may end up selling more throughout the day. But what do you think? Do you think this trailer is overloaded? <laughs> and the uh, famous words of Krustu... Oh no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do our best here and see if, uh, see if we can make this work. So I finally opted for uh, an auto load uh, trailer, which is what this is. Uh, I don't know that this is gonna make it up the hill though. So I, I should say hello, first of all, <laughs> welcome to March. We're uh, March year three here in uh, Calmlands. The uh, 200 horsepower challenge parallel series with uh, about 7 billion other content creators. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I think it's somewhere in the mid-20s now uh, as far as uh, channels that are making content on this map uh, in this uh, 200 horsepower challenge where we're limited to vehicles with a uh, max of 200 horsepower. I might have bit off more than I can chew here. I actually um, I had a copy map, uh, a copy of this game save, and I, I ran a couple tests to see how much I could haul up the hill with this tractor and uh, in a couple scenarios with trailers of similar weight I was able to get up the hill with basically 40,000 liters of sunflower oil. This trailer though seems to be a bit of an issue and it might be just because I'm front loaded here. Uh, I don't know like maybe I'm too heavy on the front axles. I kind of grabbed this one last minute after really there's another one that I really wanted uh, but it was it was sort of limited in to, as to what it would carry. Uh, it would carry, uh, I think, 34,000 liters, so 34 pallets of sunflower oil uh, at its max. I perhaps should have gone with that because uh, it would have made this whole scenario a little bit more manageable getting up this hill. But uh, but anyways, I went for I went for this one instead at the last minute. I think it was like twelve thousand dollars. Uh, so we're about to find out whether or not we can even get up the steep part. Uh, I did get up going about seven or eight kilometers an hour with the other trailer. Uh, uh, sorry, with another trailer that I had uh, tested with about 40,000 40, liters of, of sunflower oil. So I don't see why I shouldn't be able to get up with this. Although at this point here, I was still going 18 or 20 kilometers an hour with the other trailer. So I don't really know what's going on here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to go. Typically, I would make a right here and we would head up through through the woods there, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of head up here and then just tra traverse the hill. Uh, so I thought maybe we could take this time to let you know a little bit about what we're going to do today, and then uh, if we're still, you know, kilometers away from the uh, cell point, which is the co-op, which is where we're going, uh, then then perhaps I would just let this thing run its course and, and uh, meet you at the top. But uh, yeah, so we have uh, two, I think if I go and check the fields, we should be okay here. So we have two fields that are ready to harvest. Uh, what is that? Oats and canola, right? Oats and canola. Once this field's harvested, uh, I've gone ahead and bought these fields here and I've mowed them all out and taken the grass off there, which I'll show you what I've, what I've done. You can see there's a new icon here. Uh, we're going to be expanding uh, expanding this field to make it absolutely massive and then uh, connecting these two fields and then we'll, re we'll replant that hopefully by the end of the day. Uh, this one here will get uh, harvested and then I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I want to wait until I plow this field or till I harvest this field here and then we'll make this one field. So we'll have a mega field here, we'll have a field here, these two will get combined this one's uh, going to be ready for harvest soon, but it'll sort of stand alone. And then, and then I'd like in this episode, hopefully, to purchase this piece of land right here, get it plowed, and get it uh, get it uh, planted as well. So you can see why I started before five o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're uh, going to be doing a lot today. <laughs> so now I'm taking the sunflower up to the co-op. Uh, we're about to make a couple bucks. Our sunflower oil is now at its all-time high, and uh, we're in the right month, so we're going to go sell all this uh, up here at um, at the uh, at the co-op. We, we, that four hundred thirty thousand, I, I do have. Uh, I think we'll be about four hundred twenty thousand because I, I have forty-one thousand uh, on here, not 
roughly 42. I, I was one, one couple liters short of another pallet uh, before, before I took these. So uh, the other thing here, uh, we have uh, the straw crates, which we could take over to sell everything container. Uh, that would likely, uh, well, I mean, we're, the price is good for that right now. So we may also sell that. After we sell the um, the sunflower oil, we are going to be uh, rolling in it, as they say. <laughs> Who are they and why do they say that? I have no idea, but that's what's going to happen. All right, we are now on the premises. And look at those front wheels. This trailer is just not, not doing so well, I don't think. I mean, it's doing well in that it's carrying a substantial amount of uh, product. But, I mean, per perhaps the sunflower oil is one of the heaviest things we could be carrying, too. So... Like I can imagine if we're carrying grape juice up here, it's not gonna be as bad, but. All right, let's see what we got, folks. 436,000 dollars. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so originally I was looking for a kind of a, a tractor trailer, I guess, um, like a truck option uh, that I was gonna to begin to use to cart uh, product back and forth um, from the cell point and not use the tractors in a trailer but I just couldn't find anything that uh, that was going to work for me um, A that I liked because I want to like what I have and uh, and B that would carry anything so I opted just to go with this tractor this tractor seems to be the beast of uh, everything I've got uh, this uh, slurry tanker showed up on sale overnight uh, I think it was like 10 grand uh, it's got a 10 meter working width and it holds about 13,000 liters I don't honestly need it right now because I'm pretty sure we're not generating anything out of the cows. It just looked like a good deal. And eventually we're going to move the cows into a big building. So I don't know. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> and I knew that we were about to make almost half a million dollars selling oil. So I just bought it. I'm, I'm thinking a, uh, like a small BGA might be something that we'll look at. And if it's creating digestate, I guess we can also use this to... Uh, to spray digestate, so that might not be a bad idea. Anyways, we'll come back for that. I wonder if this trailer just went through its sort of ultimate uh, weight test and, and we should be okay from here on out. I guess we'll find out. All right, as much as I want to just set this worker, set this on a worker to get it back, they have a real hard time navigating this uh, corner coming up here, so. I'm going to take this down. Um, so on this uh, alternate save game that I have, I have spent, uh, I don't know, I'd say I'd probably give, I've probably spent about an hour uh, trying to play around with auto drive um, and then not, not having looked at course play at all yet, uh, but auto drive, just trying to see if I could set up routes and waypoints and stuff. So I'm, I'm not there yet. Today would have been a great day to already know how to use auto driving course plate together um, because we're going to have uh, quite a bit of, I'm going to expand a field, I'm going to conjoin two fields and expand a field and then and then probably mow out a giant section and, and create a field there. So th those would have been just perfect things for us uh, to use that with. Okay, so they're safe to go from there anyways. All right, let's get ourselves over to the farm. Five o'clock in the morning. Where to begin? Well, you know what? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the harvester ready. What did I say? We have oats, which is good because now we'll finally be able to start uh, creating some wheat again. Uh, we're really backed up with strawberries. We're backed up with butter. Man, they are not shy about speeding in the yard. So we now have another trailer. Uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on this trailer and see how it behaves with some other uh, stuff. If uh, the, the front axle just continues to get crushed, then uh, it may not be the one for us. All right, I'll connect that. Try not to hit the shed. I end up having to buy some uh, some chicken food or some some bird food or wheat or whatever 
uh, to put in there for the uh, for the ducks because we're starting to run low and I don't I'm, we're not ready to harvest yet uh, the the wheat. I think we're, we might still be another month after this one. So I, I don't know that uh, in this episode we'll be moving moving the birds over. Uh, so do you see that silo at the end over there? So I basically came through, mowed out the whole new section that we bought. Fields 20 and I don't know, whatever whatever the other small field was. So all of that's mowed out. I mowed out the top, the top of these two uh, fields. I took all the grass out of that. I basically got about half a million liters of, uh, of grass. Actually, it was more than that. So I put in a, another fermenting silo over there at the end of the, uh, at the end of the, the bird in building. Really more so just to, for my own sanity because I was running everything back over to those fermenting silos on the far end there. So to save myself the additional trips, I, I just put one in over here. So it's got about half a million liters, but I also put in the newer one over near the new sawmill, I put uh, I put about 140,000 liters into that one. And then actually I think three plus three yeah, I think and then I and then I mowed out the other side of the most of the other side of the river too um, so I think all in all I got about close to 700,000 liters of uh, of grass which was pretty wild this is good because the like I still have I think I, I want to say I have about 150 or 160,000 liters of straw in the hayloft um, but I, know, I guess I've just been hoarding it a little bit. Uh, the straw production needs needs material, uh, so when we're taking the straw off here, we'll just put it directly into the into the production. So I notice now. I, I went and I changed some of the settings in course play. I think I did. Anyways, I don't remember what I did here. I did it on on the alternate save that I have. Uh, so I set them up to have like. Uh, I think you can, like put their lights on automatically and then when they're backing up you can turn the hazards on and things like that oh, I think it's auto drive um, But I do I notice now like before I would always like if you if you notice I always turn the lights on when I drive um, and Now I notice they're staying on when I put a worker On a vehicle, so I'm assuming that might be part of that or a symptom of that or whatever Let's use this guy to run up and grab the slurry tanker that we bought We'll send them up there. Okay, I was gonna be surprised if there were many eggs sitting here because I did uh, clear that out last night. I'm gonna drop a thing of TMR. So the, the production is full right now. So we will go and throw some into the cows. I, I think I'd like to buy some cows by the end of the day also um, so we can further amp up the milk production likely not right now but uh, another big spend we're going to need to do will be some type of cow building that uh, enables us to uh, generate uh, manure and and slurry double check to see how much milk is in here too uh, 1400 liters i did take the milk whatever milk was in here i took out last night and uh <laughs> the one guy comes running every time. Anyways, yeah, I took uh, I took whatever milk was in here and and put it into uh, into the production. I put it into the butter production, but I've got to put some into the bakery too. Once we get this load into the into the feeder there, then we'll take this trailer and we'll go uh, we'll go out to the field so we can be ready to unload the oats. And I can't remember oats is a lower yield, I think. Uh, so we may as well call up the real estate agent. Now have a look at our portfolio. I mean, we could kind of just buy all of them, couldn't we? And then we're done. We don't have to buy any more property. Yeah, because I don't necessarily have any other big spends today. Ooh, look at that. We just, <laughs> I didn't really, I hadn't really anticipated doing that, but uh, there we go. Property goal achieved. 
That is way more land than I've ever owned in this game. Holy crap. And I'm still not using any of the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like comfort of life <laughs> mods or whatever. Yeah, it's funny. There really was no specific need to buy this. <laughs> Just kind of, kind of did. You know, when you see a good deal, sometimes you just got to take it. I guess really the only thing I spent money on was the custom color. There you go. They did not make it to the top, so we'll have to take over for a second. So what? I got to figure out what to plant in this field next. So so this will be a mega field. There's actually uh, something I want to do across the road right here. I, I think I'd said that I didn't really want to farm the other side of the road very much or at all. I think what I'm going to do is put sunflowers. That'll be our sort of sunflower field as you come. Like, basically, I own both sides of the road as as we, if you remember, you come through that uh, underpass there where, where I uh, hit with the bread. Uh, remember, I hit with the pallet of bread uh, or the container of bread or whatever. Uh, so that you come down through that road there. So I was thinking it might look nice to have sunflowers there because then as you drive through there every time, you'll be uh, flanked by uh, flanked by sunflowers. So that... It's kind of the idea there so we will we will plant that that'll be our most awkward fields because they're not uh they'll be the only fields that we have that really aren't aren't square yeah so this can go right into <laughs> so i'm not going to put it i'm not going to try to put it right into the bakery i'm going to uh put this into the into here so we can make flour from here what do you guys think of uh sorghum as a as a as a producer when it comes to bird food and does it make wheat uh does it make straw sorghum straw it's like follow the bouncing ball today so here's the here's the uh the additional silo i put in it just seemed like a decent spot for it so i'll have half a million liters of silage there when that's done i cut cut down some trees here basically just cleaned it up we'll probably use this little corner here as more of a producing type corner and we'll create just a massive field for uh for the rest of it i'm going to try to take some of that hill and turn it into field also uh i think our tractors can handle it now uh the question though is going to be will will the combine but anyways we'll figure that out while i'm here i might as well just take some of the uh take some of the oats Thank you, friend. All right, I think we're just going to take this because we don't need it right away. There's some room down here next to uh, Josh's windrow. I didn't sell the windrow when I bought the front mounted windrow. Uh, just in the thought that at some point I'm probably going to need something, so figured I might as well keep it because we got it. There we go. All right, I think what I'm going to do now is work with. I'm going to work with the uh, oat field over there and try to grab the straw off of it. Now, I don't think I fully, gra well, I do grasp, but I, I was going to say, I don't think I fully grasp the amount of work that I've sort of decided I'm going to do today, <laughs> but it uh, should be painful. And then what I'll, do, <clears throat> and then what I'll do is I'll just keep an eye on harvester and whenever it's coming back down like it's about to do I'll just jump into the John Deere and uh, grab the grain I guess so I still have a, a silo with soybeans in it that I need to figure out what to do I don't really want to set up uh, an additional production just to deal with them I might just continue to watch the market and sell them sell them bulk when I got a chance I think I'm going to deactivate the bread for now um, because I have a ton of strawberries 
and sugar and everything else that that is going to get used by the by the cake. So I think what I'm going to do is let the cake run. I guess it's not missing. It's not telling me I'm missing material yet in the um, in milk, but we're going to be soon. So, anyways, yeah, I want to I want to get through some of the some of the inputs that are being produced. Like I'm producing sugar uh, from the beets, I guess, that are in coming out of the out of the greenhouse. Um, and I'm producing strawberries in the hydroponic greenhouse, which currently it's there's no space left in the greenhouse because of the uh, the volume of strawberries that are that we've produced. Uh, I've got the uh, the other tractor just unloading over at the uh, at the at the factory there, so I figure we might as well pick up some more straw. We'll see an up and down is almost uh, yeah, so a couple up and downs, and we should have a full uh, full load here. So I'm just waiting for uh, somebody to come and service the furnace in my house. I woke up this morning and and it started to feel a little bit cold, and then I realized that the uh, furnace was no longer blowing hot air. There's power to it, uh, the fans work, but uh, but it's not blowing hot air. So I think I was able to read some of the air codes, and, and I think I got a pretty good idea what it is. But uh, it's beyond my expertise, so I have somebody coming to coming to uh, take care of that hopefully here soon um, but I have my, my biggest concern in my office here I have uh, let's see we have uh, two enclosures that house uh, crested geckos uh, we have another enclosure that houses uh, red-eyed tree frogs uh, I have another enclosure that houses Amazon milk frogs and then we have one more enclosure that houses uh, Lake uh, Lake Chapala uh, Mexican garter snakes. Uh, we have three of them in there, so uh, we have a, a bit of a, a bit of a zoo here in my office. Uh, and I could tell this morning that the that the temperature was going down because the frogs all made their way to the front to the, to the front glass of their enclosures to basically tell me uh, that uh, that it was cold. So I've got uh, some some repurposed heaters uh, keeping them keeping them happy right now. But it's, they're they're like little dogs. They're not afraid to tell you what they're thinking like when when they want food they come right to the glass and stare at you and make noises until you come over there and either uh you know dump dump more crickets into their uh, enclosure or, or something like they they just come and tell you what they want basically is what it is it's kind of funny same with the snakes when they want food they come right to the glass or or they don't come to the glass but you'll sort of get this idea that uh that you're being watched and then you look over and there'll be three faces just staring at you Uh, so I saw some cake on the ground over there. I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to start spawning cake, so we're gonna not do that. I don't know. You tell me. Like I, I feel like we've been able to accomplish quite a bit with uh, with what we have uh, so far. Um, it could be bias because it's me <laughs> so maybe maybe it's just me thinking that we're doing a lot but uh but yeah it feels like uh feels like we've been able to accomplish a lot look at how massive this field's going to be so so we have the field that's that's already harvested right to the right there then we're going to take we'll combine the two fields so that field and the one that we're harvesting right now and then we'll take it all the way over to the river and then I'll see how ambitious I get, how far up the hill we're gonna take it. I don't need to take it up the hill, uh, obviously, um, but but we might. I'll try to, and I am gonna try to keep it as square as possible, but, but yeah, that's gonna be, that might be our biggest field once uh, once it's all said and done. I gotta remember to get the new field data once we've got it all ex expanded there. Uh, anyways, with the amount of work that's going on today, I think what we're going to do is uh, regroup here once I have uh, the harvester on the next field. And then I'll kind of let you know how many... Well, obviously we're going to get a little bit more uh, oats out of here. I should I should have really taken a look before we started to kind of add up the totals, but whatever. All right, we're just going to get the headlands here. It's kind of on the fence whether or not I should be dropping the straw... <laughs> but I figured, you know what, I mean, it's not its not the ultimate yield when it comes to a straw uh, when you're doing the canola, but it's still something I can't, uh, can't
can't ignore. All right, there's that pallet or bag. I don't know what that is. I think it's seeds. There we go. No crops missed. So I'm guessing we either didn't spray this field or something. I, I thought we sprayed everything as we planted it, but uh, maybe we didn't spray this one. Obviously, we've got some weeds growing in here. All right, so we're just going to send the worker across here and I will get the trailer ready because they're going to be, I think, I think they were about 60% by the time I sent them off. So if I get uh, to the ready over here, I should be able to at least grab that while they're on their way back. And then that'll leave me to be able to get some of the straw off the previous oat field. Look at that, that looks fantastic. Canola looks amazing. Yum. Is that what it looks like in reality too? I don't I don't know what I mean by yum. I don't think, it doesn't look specifically appetizing, but uh anyways, whatever. Okay, let's go put this Actually, we're not Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Let's get the well, let's get the forge wagon going again. I don't know whether this trailer will fit into... I don't think the forage wagon is going to fit into the um, into the bird enclosure there, the new, the new building, but I do have to put down straw for the birds. We may take at least one, one of these loads and put it into the hayloft uh, rather than the straw production, just so we have... Uh, so we're topping up the hayloft. I think it holds like 250,000 liters. So if, I'm, if I can make sure that the hayloft has that 250,000 liters in it, then uh, then I know that we'll always have straw available for the uh, for the birds All right, this guy's almost full again. Just checking back in here. I did uh, Kind of let this guy run a little bit and uh, managed to get him unloaded a few times, which is good. We've been pumping canola into the production uh, got all of the straw off the far field there I can uh, confirm that the forge wagon does not fit inside the uh, the new bird building uh, it's far too large it fits into the, the first door but then it doesn't fit into the actual animal area where that's where you got to put the uh, put the straw so we're gonna have to put the straw I think what we'll end up doing is maybe even this trailer we're gonna need another trailer I think we seem to juggle this trailer so much we'll be able to take the straw out of the um, out of the hayloft and uh, and, and then put it into the, the building there for the birds. Uh, as I was cruising around here too, I was thinking about what a nightmare it's going to be uh, planting these big fields with our uh, little John Deere cedar. Oh, look at that, you almost made it. Uh, so I think we may invest in a uh, wider uh, cedar. And I, I have one in mind, and, and I've never used it, is what seems to be the theme of this map. <laughs> it seems like everything I do, I've never done before. Um, but it's a, uh, I think it's a case uh, planter, cedar, whatever, planter. What's the one, what we, the one that does canola and wheat and all that? That's a cedar. Uh, so it's the one that has the a large, kind of the, the toe between like the the seed and and fertilizer holder and then you connect the the second trailer which is the actual uh cedar itself um so i think we might try something like that it looks like we have the power for it uh, i don't see that that will be lacking um so i think we can try that and and it should come in at a reasonable price also what might not be reasonable is the price of the actual fertilizer and seed that goes into it. That might be where the nightmare starts. All right. Uh, might as well go dump this into the production and then we'll keep hammering away on the, uh, on the, the straw. It's funny. I, I had said, well, you know, I'll get the, I'll get the, uh, forge or I'll get the harvester on uh we'll do the oat field first and then while he's doing the canola field i can throw down the uh 
cultivator and start expanding the field. But then instead, what I've been doing is just juggling back and forth between unloading the uh, the harvester and and picking up straw. <laughs> so I haven't really been able to get anything else done. To I think um, one other thing I was thinking about while I was driving around, uh, we've got the grape and olive uh, product or whatever little groves, I guess, back here. Uh, I may put down two more. Uh, there's space there and really it only costs us water and we're firing that, uh, the output into the, into the production uh, to create grape juice and to create uh, olive oil and then at some point here we're going to need the raisins for the oatmeal was it oatmeal raisin cookies yeah so I was thinking that might be a good idea uh, who's going to miss the wet spot when we go and uh, and merge these fields together can I get a moment of silence for the wet spot when we go and have to plow it up and then, or what do you think I should do? Should we plow it and just leave it? Or should I raise the, uh, raise the ground? I guess I should raise, use the landscaping to raise the ground before I, uh, before we go and plant it, I guess. Well, really before we cultivate it. How's our skyline looking over there? I remember when I was marveling over the uh, grass dryer when I put it in thinking, ooh, that looks really nice. Now look at us. I'm excited to do some research to figure out what uh, what cattle building we're going to do. And then the question is, where do we put it? I don't really want to take uh, away from any of the fields that we already have. I don't really want to have it super far away from everything, but, you know, Kind of got to do what you got to do, I guess. Alternatively, I could take some more of the oat field that's in the middle over there and repurpose it. Uh, also, I mean, we have an existing cow um, area now. If that wasn't there, then that might give us enough room to put in a building. Just be a question of what we do with the cows in between. Yeah, I don't know. We had about 30,000 liters when I first started pouring it in. We're definitely, I think we're definitely gonna get over 40,000 liters. This is, and I, I always say course play, but I don't, I don't really know which one I'm talking about, but I, this is where I really wish I had the, the additional uh, farm assistant available uh, because I, I really wanna get started on those fields. And instead what I'm, instead what I'm doing here is picking up canola straw and chasing around a harvester. <laughs> but as soon as that, uh, as soon as this is done, we can get to work on, uh, get to work on the next step. So yeah, let's, let's polish this field off and then we can uh, get to work on, uh, on expanding some fields. All right, this is the last of the canola, 2,359 liters. We gotta be there. Well, 38, yeah, that'll get us, that should put us over 40,000 liters of uh, canola oil. All right, I don't know how much straw we have in there, but we'll look uh, as soon as we're done. I left the harvester out in the middle so it would remind me to buy a pressure washer so we can clean some of this stuff. Uh, she's dirty. All right, we're just cruising towards what's gotta be our final load here. 
we're in good shape. I think we've, I looked, there was about 140,000 liters of straw in the uh, straw production. The hayloft is full. The, uh, there's 40,000 liters of canola oil now sitting in the, uh, in the factory. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're sitting good, I think. Questionable weather, like, I don't know how long this episode's going to be. <laughs> Everybody always says that, oh, God, I don't know how long this episode's going to be. I think this is maybe two hours of recording. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but uh, we want to get out and expand that field next. I'm, I'm really kind of excited about that. I, I, so we got to see how much, <laughs> let's see how much we can accomplish. I want to get that field expanded. I'd like to cut the two, uh, what are going to be sunflower fields that I mentioned across the river there. Um, and, and then we still have a lot of mowing and really another field to cut uh, in that other new area that we just bought. That might happen in between episodes, maybe. I gotta just see, there's just, there's just a, it's gonna be hard to fit all this in is what I guess what I'm trying to say. And there it is, unless I was gonna pick up some of those scraps, but I think I'm just gonna leave those. I've had enough. All right, pulling in for the final time in this session. All right, next up, we create the field. I feel like I should be launching a, launching a worker into this one to get it planted, but I mean, if we're gonna wait to expand the field, then I guess I'm not gonna do that yet. It doesn't feel right having, uh, like not having something growing right away. Uh, all right, well, let's start with the middle and we'll get these oh, We can see right away. We got to we got to get these lined up here There we go we'll gain a little bit of real estate down here at the bottom Once that lines up we should be good. All right, that's good. Well, this field is going to be massive. <laughs> but I mean, so if this, if, if indeed this is our wheat field, uh, and maybe we want to go wheat and then I don't know whether, what, what, like if we always want to, maybe we want to rotate the field, but do it for uh, bird food. So maybe we go like wheat, sorghum, wheat, sorghum, for example, <coughs> I think you can, go, you can do barley in there too, right? Um, but if we do that, then uh, at least we're kind of rotating crops, which I think you're supposed to do, aren't you? And uh, and we're feeding what could be upwards of 2,000 adult birds plus whatever we're rotating through uh, small birds, right? All right, I'm, I'm going to, I want to go up this hill, but I also want to just get this, this middle piece done. Then we'll get sort of a true picture. Okay, so I think this little hill will be manageable. So down here by the shore, this is where I'm going to be taking over from the worker. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to send a worker around the... Well, I guess if we eventually figure out how to get get the workers to, you know, work in the space. Course play, auto drive, auto course, whatever. Then, uh, <clears throat> then maybe we can trust them to come and do this themselves, but... Until then, it's going to be us. So we're going to take this right down to the shoreline. Will I regret this? I know what I would regret, backing into the river. All 
side, so I don't think I'm quite lined up there, but that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, uh, this field's gonna look a little weird until it's actually, uh, until it's actually, uh, you know, proper, but, so I think what we're gonna do is we'll go through, we'll probably lime the entire thing again, so it's, uh, consistent all the way through, and then, uh, and then we'll make sure we got a nice, well, I mean, it'll get fertilized as we, uh, as we go and put the, put the seeds in the ground anyways, but... Check the in-game time right now, 10.59. I'll leave it at three times speed and uh, I'll uh, jump back in here when it's done. All right, the main bulk of the field is done. Now we're just gonna kinda steal as much of the edge here as we are brave enough to. Really, it's gonna come down to what we think we can actually work. Uh, like, where will, our, where will our machines fall apart? So wor worst case is if if I've created something that uh, is impossible to farm, well, you know what, I can always get rid of the field. Uh, just paint it over, add the grass back in, and it's like it never happened. All right, well, there's the field. Oh, it's too big. Uh, okay, so the field basically goes all the way around the river there, up the hill here all the way diagonal across to like where the uh, small original duck building is. Um, I've merged all the fields. Let's look on the mini map. I guess once I go and I plant all this, it should be fine, right? All right, let's make sure our field data is up to date. I think we're gonna carve our fields out over there before I buy that field. So we bought that field, we wanna update this one. Oof, not cheap. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to send. I was gonna send maybe somebody out with uh, with a fertilizer spreader and some and so, sorry, and with some lime in it, so we get this get this started. But I think I want to get this little field across the road cut out first. Then I can buy this last chunk of data, and uh, and yeah, we're good. I, I can tell you one thing. I I highly doubt that I'm going to be. Uh, mowing and and plowing at least on camera or this episode I don't even we'll probably do it this month but it might not necessarily just be on camera <laughs> I guess this is gonna be one uh, meaty episode when it comes to building fields and stuff so we have this area here I just thought this would look cool when you're driving into the farm to have uh, some kind of crop growing on both sides of this kind of look it would just look good so we are going to do that and then we'll regret it later probably gonna be a bit of an awkward one to harvest but I think it's worth it in the end or I hope it's worth it in the end anyways I think we'll have to do it crusty was that you that bought the uh, additional harvesters we have to start one in one corner and one in another or I may have to just grab one do this do well I guess I guess really in reality if I can figure out those dang course play auto drive whatever mods then uh, I just create a route around that field and then off it goes 17 headlands later and then uh, and then you know up and uh, they up and down the middles and we just set a guy on it and he can spend his day on it man that's a must I gotta figure that out the rest of this week so this is what is this Monday so right now I'm recording this on Monday this is gonna go live on Tuesday and then I have nothing recorded after that but I have way too much work in the real world uh that's popped up all of a sudden this week and uh i'm <clears throat> i'm half thinking we may uh see hinterland uh become a casualty of the work week uh this week i, I did i mean I, the last episode uh of hinterland was uh one where i said how i was excited to finally uh you know get caught up so we could do live play and then I've done nothing with it since. I would say that I, I did log on to the map and uh, to, to kind of get a rough idea of what I think I might be doing and just had no inspiration there. So I think this, this map has kind of spoiled me for its ridiculousness. I don't know, it's just been fun. All the interactions have been a lot of fun. Uh, 
Valley Springs has a bit of a story and a, and a real mountain. I don't know that I've 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 spoken enough about the mountain I need to climb, which is paying off 1.4 million dollars. That's that's a lot of money there. Um, anyway, so that that's a real challenge. Uh, kind of leaves poor old hinterland in the kind of out in the cold. Also, kind of makes me think maybe I wouldn't mind just starting a new survival start from scratch hard economy on something I don't know we'll see all right there's one lot let's just head across here now so I'm only going to plow out what you see on the mini map in field 20 we own uh, oh god look do you see what I see we could potentially own everything right of the road but left of the river and then eventually follow that out i'm gonna shut up now but anyways i want to make these two fields here we may rotate these fields between sunflower and canola so we always uh try to have something colorful on the uh map i don't we don't have any of the uh unique or new crops do we like can we plant linseed and things like that i don't think you can Talking like I know what linseed is. I just planted it for the first time on Bally Springs, but doesn't mean I know anything about it. All right, we are down to the last little bit. I was looking at that big air open area where I was joking about putting a, a field right across, but that that might be a good place for the cows. Because <laughs> look at where see where our cows are right now, and then there's the oat field that kind of curls around it. Well. If those cows weren't there, that field could just come straight across. So it would just be a nice sort of midfield there. We can tree line our, our house and, and we'd sort of live between a big grass field and then whatever's over there. And then we could potentially put, uh, go buy whatever the biggest possible cow enclosure we can get and put it in the land that's open there between the road and the river. Just uh, thinking out loud. If you if you're still watching this uh, episode, I uh, I really appreciate it. Why don't you give me a thumbs up and let me know you're still watching it? I think the average. It's funny. I make these hour long videos, and then YouTube tells me that the average watch time is about thirty odd minutes, which I think is good. I think back when I first started making videos, the average watch time was like fourteen minutes, and uh, we seem to have expanded the average out to uh, like I say somewhere around thirty minutes. So I, th I thought that was pretty good. How many times are we going to have to fill this? Or is this perhaps one of those situations where uh, the field's not going to take a lot of lime? Let's hope it's that. Those fields across the river, I think, are going, are going to consume some lime. Uh, so once we get the lime done, I think we will... Um, probably put a worker on on uh what i can whatever i can find for a new planter and then we'll put weed in there this is where the worker does a way better job than i could the overlap's going to be far less all right let's go into the store so I don't really know what the difference between these two would be. 6.1 tons, 5.9. So this is a this is less weight. We're gonna have to send uh, one of our guys up to go pick this stuff up. Yeah, see when this is in like a uh, full bloom as long as I'm not running over the crops, this will look really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to harvest that giant field. There we go. Some big boy toys. Well, I don't know. I've, I've just never used this before. I've only ever used, uh, well, I've never used like a two-parter here, <laughs> which is different. All right, and I'm assuming this all works together. Whew. 
That adds up fast. Which one did that go in? <laughs> Left with 2,500 bucks for seeds, but Okay, it's kind of a weird trigger. It's okay because oh, I won't I won't be able to put it on a worker. We're going to have to sell something, folks. I know what we can do. We can sell some pig food, but I have seeds in here, so it's okay. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, well, we're flat dead broke, but we've got a full thing of seeds and a full thing of fertilizer, so I guess it's good and bad, isn't it? I was going to say we'll go put some lime in this, but I can't actually afford to, so let's just quickly uh, take care of that. Yeah, right there. Straw crates, sell everything container. There we go. 16,000 liters of straw crates is an odd way to quantify a solid object, especially something like a, like a crate. Typically you would probably go by a unit price. Anyway, sell everything container is the place to be for this. Tell me that it doesn't take straw crates. Oh, now I don't have to run into the door. Fifty-five four. So what is that? Sixty-one seven. Sixty-three sixty. About $64,000? Yeah, which we had negative like 100 and now we have 64,000. Great math, me. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to go like 12 kilometers an hour, I believe. For some reason, when I was initially testing this, I think it was going like 50 kilometers an hour. So I'm kind of hoping that's not... Uh, gonna happen here because I'd like to keep it realistic but I also geez I really wouldn't mind going 50 kilometers an hour wheat oh yeah once it's planted we got to go back and spray it all there's I, there's no way I'm doing that myself that's going on a worker for sure Okay, so look, we're going 19. I mean 20. That's not bad, right? All right, test number one. I'm gonna try to do two laps and then uh, we'll launch the worker. What I See, what I don't wanna have happen is that I come back to check on him and he's like three fields over dropping wheat into another field because I've had that happen before. Happened to me on Hinterland. Okay, we gotta go get, excuse me, we gotta go get some more fertilizer. Uh, I was using fertilizer at a pretty alarming rate. Uh, and then I basically didn't even realize and I started cruising around the field without fertilizing. So there may be some places where there's seed but no fertilizer. There you go, full of fertilizer and seeds are around here somewhere. 
$12,000 in fertilizer. Holy crap. That's crazy. Is that right? Jeez. We're way down in dollars now. This field's gonna break me. Climbing pretty good. The only thing I, th I think I should have put my front weight on. Maybe would have put a little more power down. I also still want to get this thing upgraded to duels. I think that'll make a big difference. Oof, I almost can't watch. Let's just run over here. All right, let's get this lime done and then we'll take stock of our lives. <laughs> Oy. I got a feeling I have some work uh, work ahead of me after you guys leave. Right, let's go fill this up and then we'll head across the road. I do know one thing, we got some money coming at us holy mackerel oh great the vehicle's broken come on i think the fence just broke yeah 50 percent power it's time to get the fleet of fent 900s Ooh, actually that makes me that makes me think of something uh while we're over here is this even does can you even get duels on this Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, please. I think when you've got duels like we do, you got to put uh, both, both beacons. Well, let's see how this works. Maybe we need a couple of these. What the hell? All right. Yeah. Man, I'm going to know if you made it this far in the video because this this can't go without a comment. <laughs> it's just like a brick. Oh my god, I can't watch. This guy's gonna go into the river, isn't he? Okay, after today, what will we have growing? We're gonna put sunflower in these fields. We're gonna have wheat growing in that field. We have a canola harvest uh, up in the, by the wet spot. I think we still have canola over by the uh, old sawmill. We have oats in the middle there and we have a big wheat field. Yeah, so we have a lot of, still have a lot of potential. I was starting to feel like <clears throat> we had just harvested everything, but no, we still got lots, lots of work to do there, kids. All right, check that off. Let's get these little bits over here, if we can. It's probably not gonna make a difference. Wow, what a day. We spent a ton of money. I bought a bunch of property that I've done nothing with yet. Dump out the bottom. Oh, it does.
Sweet. Okay, beast, you may continue. A little bit of an industrial accident there. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to say goodbye. Uh, I think that guy is going to carry on until he's done. I'll get him to finish planting this with wheat. I am going to grab the planter and go attack those sunflower fields with this John Deere. And you can go do what you want and I will see, what is this episode? this episode 19 i think it's 19 so that means we're uh quickly approaching uh episode 20 that's wild uh we missed a, we, we didn't we didn't miss anything but we skipped a month yeah we're coming up on a year march april may june july we've got uh four months april may june july yeah, and then we're, uh, and then we're basically uh, a year, two years. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, well, I'll get a lot of work done between now and the next time we uh, see each other. And yeah, I'll, I don't know what this. This may be the episode that broke my brain. <laughs> so as usual, I appreciate you watching this uh, this mess. And uh, if you like what you see and you've made it this far, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. I'd appreciate any and all feedback. And uh, yeah, again, I'll see you, uh, see you in the next one when we turn to uh, mega farmers. All right, see you later. Bye.